Today, we're diving deep into the world of Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 FE. As the Galaxy S24 FE just hit the market, it might seem a bit early to discuss what's next, but leaks and rumors are swirling and we've got some exciting updates to share with you. The Galaxy S24 AE is still fresh off the production line, but speculation about its successor, the Galaxy S25 FE, is already heating up. So what can we expect from this future device? Well, buckle up, because there are some intriguing developments regarding its chipset. Recent reports from reliable sources like our friend at Chun 8888 suggest that Samsung might be making some significant decisions regarding their Exynos chips. Let's break it down. Rumor has it that Samsung may have quietly scrapped the development of the Exynos 2500 so due to its inability to compete with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. Instead, there are whispers that Samsung plans to deploy the Snapdragon 8 Elite across the Galaxy S25 series globally. Now, why is this a mixed bag? It's bad news for diehard Exynos fans and Samsung's Exynos division, but it's potentially great for those who prefer Snapdragon chips. However, it poses a challenge for the Galaxy S25 FE as it leaves the device with limited chipset options. So what's next for the S25 FE? The Galaxy S24 FE currently utilizes a modified Exynos 2400 chip called the Exynos 2400E. This slightly underclocked variant performs admirably, but does the S25 FE have a plan to up its game? Some speculations floated around, hinting that the Galaxy S25 FE could potentially feature a modified version of the Exynos 2500E, but if the base Exynos 2500 is indeed off the table, then its modified counterpart will likely follow suit. This brings us back to the Exynos 2400. It looks like Samsung might opt for this chip for the S25 FE. Why, you ask? To maintain that sense of progression and showcase a more powerful chipset compared to its predecessor. The Exynos 2400 does have slightly better specs than the Exynos 2400E, even if only marginally. So if that's the path Samsung chooses, fans can still find a glimmer of hope in performance upgrades. However, it's important to note that we're still in the early days of the Galaxy S25 FE's development. Some reports indicate that Samsung has not entirely abandoned the Exynos 2500. Additionally, there's been chatter that the Galaxy S25 FE might surprise us with a MediaTek solution. So many possibilities, the future remains uncertain and we should approach these rumors with caution. Ultimately, Samsung's decision will impact fans across the board, whether they favor Exynos or Snapdragon. With each fan edition release, Samsung has aimed to deliver flagship features at more accessible prices. The upcoming Galaxy S25 FE will ideally latch onto that legacy and its chipset will play a crucial role in that. What do you think about this news? Are you open for a specific chipset in the Galaxy S25 FE? Do you stand by Exynos or prefer Snapdragon? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this information helpful, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll keep you updated as more news breaks about the Galaxy S25 FE. Until next time, stay curious and stay connected. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series, returns 
offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 
20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.